Hey guys, today I'd like to talk about how I use AI in my daily workflow to speed up making games. Back in 2020, during the whole COVID lockdown, I was working on my second title, Endurance, and man, I used to get stuck all the time. Like for real, days would go by and I'd still be sitting there trying to figure out how to solve one issue. There were moments when I had no clue how to implement a game mechanic or I'd hit some annoying bug that wouldn't go away. I remember struggling with making a shader that outlines enemies and fades in and out. I had no idea how to do that back then, or how to set up a system to localize my game in multiple languages. And I definitely didn't want to spend money on expensive Unity assets just to get it done. And the worst part, I didn't really have anyone to ask, no fellow devs around me. So I'd just be sitting there refreshing Stack Overflow or the Unity forum, scrolling endlessly hoping to find something even kind of similar to what I needed. It was frustrating. You probably know the feeling when you want to move forward with your game, but you're just stuck. No progress. Your own deadlines blowing past. I actually didn't finish Endurance on time as I planned, because all of that. Though it brought me 1 million downloads and more than 100k of profit in the end. Fast forward to today, things are totally different. Now we've got AI tools and yeah, they are not perfect, but they help me to speed up my workflow a lot. Like seriously, a lot. The first one I got into was Midjourney. I started using it to create icons and A-B testing them for better app store optimization for my games and even for some quick game art for menus and loading screens. Later, I tried out Adobe Firefly and Stable Diffusion. But the one I use every day now is ChatGPT. I use it for everything, code, UI, optimization, and even bouncing ideas. Like recently, I needed to make a UI panel that scrolls down when you open it. I asked ChatGPT to write the code for that, and then I asked if it was too heavy for mobile, especially for low-end devices. It not only gave me the solution, but also helped me to optimize it right away. And that saved me time. By the way, if you're interested in a video about game performance optimization for mobile, let me know in the comments. Back when I was working on a multiplayer game Resource War, I had to create all of the UI elements myself. And when it got too complex, I had to hire a freelancer, which sometimes wasn't too cheap. But now I just describe or upload the image of the style I need, ask ChatGPT to create an icon or button in the same vibe, and even ask for a PNG with alpha channel so I don't have to remove the background later. Boom, done. I also struggled to create matchmaking based on player stats for my multiplayer game, and again had to pay an experienced dev to solve that problem for me. And those annoying gradle build errors, you know the ones. They make no sense and you spend half day or even couple of days trying to fix them. Now I just take a screenshot, drop it into ChatGPT and ask what's wrong here and 9 times out of 10 it points me in the right direction. Even in Unity Editor I use AI to speed things up. Like if I want to add button in the expector that lets me run a function like previewing localized text in the UI, I just ask ChatGPT to write a little script for it. Speaking of localization, man, I used to spend so much money on it. Like I've paid 100 to 150 dollars per language just to translate my game's text. And I normally have 12 languages in my games. Now I just paste my text into ChatGPT, ask it to translate it and even tell it to add some light humor there. Or make it fit the character's tone. It's not 100% perfect, but it's solid especially for prototyping and early builds. Even right now, while writing the script for this video, I'm asking ChatGPT to fix grammar, make it sound nicer and add better phrase here and there. It's like having a co-writer who is available 24-7. When it's time to publish my game, I also use it for App Store and Google Play listings. I asked ChatGPT to write the title, subtitle and description, optimized for ASO. Like sure, it's not the greatest marketer in the world, but it still writes something better that I would come up with at 2 a.m. after a long coding session. And for 3D stuff? If I need a quick 3D model for a prototype and I can't find anything on Unity Asset Store or I just don't feel like modeling it myself, I use Mashy. It helps me to get a usable 3D model fast. Just enough to keep things moving. Lately, I've also been using AI for something I didn't think of before. Analyzing player behavior. So I export a CSV file or a screenshot from Firebase or Game Analytics then I upload it to ChatGPT and say, tell me what's happening here. It finds patterns, tells me where players drop off, which levels are too hard, and sometimes even gives suggestions on what to tweak. That's huge. 
honestly, all these things add up. Code help, art, UI, 3D models, localizations, analytics. It's like having a full team backing you up when you work in solo. Of course, you still need to know stuff. AI can help, but it's not going to magically fix everything. Sometimes it gives outdated info or weird results. And you need to check things and test like always. But overall, it's a massive boost. These tools don't just solve problems for me. They keep me moving forward. I don't get stuck for days anymore. I can try ideas quickly, test things fast and keep my projects flowing. If you're working solo or even just on a small team, try using some of these AI tools in your workflow. Whether it's ChatGPT, Midjourney, Meshi or whatever is next, the tools can save your time, money and a lot of headaches. So yeah, this is how I use AI tools to make my life easier as game developer. And let me know in the comments which tools do you guys use. And thanks for watching, catch you in the next one, and good luck with your games!